Scotland in the Middle Ages concerns the history of the region that is now Scotland, from the departure of the Romans in the early 5th century, to the adoption of major aspects of the Renaissance in the early 16th century. From the 5th century North Britain was divided into a series of petty kingdoms. Of these the four most important to emerge were the Picts, the Scots of Dalriata, the Britons of Strathclyde and the Anglian Kingdom of Bernicia. After the arrival of the Vikings in the late 8th century, Scandinavian rulers and colonies were established along parts of the coasts and in the islands. In the 9th century the Scots and Picts combined under the House of Alpin to form a single kingdom of Alba, with a Pictish base and dominated by Gaelic culture. After the reign of King David I in the 12th century, the Scottish monarchs are best described as Scot and Norman, preferring French culture to native Scottish culture. Alexander II and his son Alexander III were able to annex the remainder of the western seaboard, accumulating the Treaty of Perth with Norway in 1266. Scotland established its independence from England under figures including William Wallace in the late 13th century and Robert Bruce in the 14th century. In the 15th century under the Stuart dynasty, despite a turbulent political history, the crown gained greater political control at the expense of independent lords and regained most of its lost territory to approximately the modern borders of the country. However, the old alliance with France led to the heavy defeat of a Scottish army at the Battle of Flodden in 1513 and the death of the King James IV, which would be followed by a long minority and a period of political instability. Kingship was the major form of government, growing in sophistication in the late Middle Ages. The scale and nature of war also changed, with larger armies, naval forces and the development of artillery and fortifications. Christianity introduced monasticism and what has been identified as Celtic Christianity. Nevertheless, the Church accepted papal authority and from the 11th century embraced monastic reform, developing a flourishing religious culture that asserted its independence from English control. Scotland grew from a relatively small area in the eastern lowlands, to approximately its modern borders. The varied and dramatic geography of the land provided a protection against invasion, but limited central control. It also defined the largely pastoral economy, with the first burghs being created from the 12th century. The population may have grown to a peak of a million before the arrival of the Black Death in 1337. In the early Middle Ages society was divided between a small aristocracy and larger numbers of freemen and slaves. Serfdom disappeared in the 14th century and there was a growth of new social groups. The Pictish and Cumbric languages were replaced by Gaelic, Old English and later Norse, with Gaelic emerging as the major cultural language. From the 11th century French was adopted in the court and in the late Middle Ages, Scots, derived from Old English, became dominant, with Gaelic largely confined to the Highlands. Christianity brought Latin, written culture and monasteries as centers of learning. From the 12th century, educational opportunities widened and a growth of lay education accumulated in the Education Act 1496, until in the 15th century, when Scotland gained three universities, Scots pursuing higher education had to travel to England or the continent where some gained an international reputation. Literature survives in all the major languages present in the early Middle Ages, with Scots emerging as a major literary language from John Barber's Bruce, developing a culture of poetry by Court Mackers, and later major works of prose. Art from the early Middle Ages survives in carving, in metalwork, and elaborate illuminated books which contributed to the development of the wider insular style. Much of the finest later work has not survived, but there are a few key examples, particularly of work commissioned in the Netherlands. Scotland had a musical tradition, with secular music composed and performed by bards and from the 13th century. Church music increasingly influenced by continental and English forms, 